Hi everyone, for today's video I'm going to share with you how to make this fun clear candy bag wrapper for your embellishments. So here I have some embellish popsicles using this Stamps of Life die that I picked up a while back. I'm not sure if she still has this on her website. And then I made a larger version or some other embellishments that I made. And then I added a charm on this one. And then inside there's some pom-poms and sequins. And they're such a fun way to send off some embellishments. So I'm gonna make the smaller one and I'll put the measurements for the large one in the description box. But it will be the same step. So for the smaller one, you're going to need a piece of acetate and it has to be five and a half inches in height and then six and a half inches wide. Now uh, keep in mind you can make any size you want. This size I made to fit these little popsicles. And then you're going to need two strips for the top and the bottom and that is three quarters in height by six and a quarter wide. You'll need two of those. You need some double-sided tape, um, a pair of decorative scissors. I use this kind that has like this um, zigzag design. And then um, for these ones, I actually use this one I had my mom gave me. And then you'll need your crimper, which I forgot to grab, but I'll show you how you can do that with your scoreboard and then you'll need a scoreboard. So let's get started. So first you're gonna take your acetate and then on the six and a half inch side you're gonna score you're gonna score at two and then five and then on the five and a half inch side you're gonna score at half an inch and then turn and score again at half an inch. Okay, that's all you need to do there. Then you're gonna take your double-sided tape. Well, first let's, let's fold these score lines. You'll notice one size is a little bit larger. One size is two inches. So you're gonna add the double-sided tape on the two-inch side. So let's add it at the very end here. And I'm using some scrapbook.com double-sided tape. And then for the bottom, you just have to put it right up against where the score line is. So you don't have to cover the entire piece. Okay, you're going to do that to the top as well. Okay, now you'll remove this piece of tape here. So remove that tape. And then just fold it in. Okay, and then you'll remove one side. I like to start with the bottom first. And then you'll close that. And then you'll add tape on this. On my um, Instagram story, I actually added on the paper, but I noticed adding it on the Acetate is quicker. And then just remove. Then you'll take your decorative piece of paper here. I'll start from the back. I start halfway. And then I just fold over, just follow that score line. 
just folds over again. Then you're gonna take, normally you would take your crimper and just crimp it, but I'm just gonna use the scoreboard. So if you don't have a crimper, you can use your scoreboard. Just do one eighth of an inch. Do it every one eighth of an inch. Do it really slow because again, you're going over acetate. So just do it really slowly. That way you'll get a straight line. See, it's hard when you go over the acetate, so just go really slow. Okay, and then you're going to take your scissors. I'll just use these scissors. Okay, and there's the bottom. And then you're going to add an embellishment inside. So I have some here. That I already have decorated. Just add in these cute little embellishments inside. And then I'm going to add some pom poms inside. And then a little mix of sequins that I made here. Okay. And then you're going to peel this out. And again, the fun thing is you can create any size that you want um, to fit your embellishments. Let's peel that out. And squeeze that. And then you'll add your acetate. I mean, not your acetate, your double-sided tape. on both sides. And then the option you can add a dangle if you like, a charm, like I did on the larger one. I added it on the larger one. So just peel that out. And then you take your piece here. We'll add our score lines. Again, every eighth of an inch. So if you don't have the crimper, you can do it this way. Oops. I just use the crimper because it's quicker. Plus it's kind of hard to go over the acetate, but if you go slowly, you could do it. And then we'll cut. Just cut the end. There you go. Isn't that cute? You got a cute little clear candy bag and this is a fun way to give someone some embellishments. Hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching. Bye.